Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. September 14th is the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, also known as the Triumph of the Cross. Now, what does Exaltation of the Cross actually mean? It's that honor given to the cross of Christ, which is that instrument through which Jesus offered himself for our salvation. We embrace it, we exalt it, for through it we have eternal life. Now, on the 13th of September, 335, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem was dedicated. Emperor Constantine built this basilica over Calvary, marking the site of the crucifixion, the tomb of Jesus, and the cistern in which Constantine's mother, St. Helena, found the cross and other remnants from our Lord's Passion, including the nails. Now, she discovered these years earlier on September 14, 320, when she led an expedition to the Holy Land in search of the actual locations related to Jesus' life. Now, on 614, the Persian king, Chris Roas raged war on the Romans, and after conquering Jerusalem, he confiscated many treasures, among which was the cross of our Lord. Now, the Byzantine emperor Heraclius waged war against the Persians and was victorious near Nineveh. He demanded restitution of the cross, when he which he returned to Jerusalem, carrying it on his own back, restoring it to the church in 629 A.D. Now, the site of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre has been in continuous existence since. And one of the most powerful experience I think I've ever had was inside this church, putting my hand into that crevice, which was hewn out of the rock on Golgotha by the Romans in order to insert the vertical beam over which our Lord was hung. An amazing experience. Now the cross of itself is a brutal reality of the cruelest form of execution. Photos or depictions of anyone hanging are pretty gruesome, but cruelty is not what is, is exalted on the Feast of the Cross, but the love that God manifested through His Son, accepting death upon it. That's what makes the cross a beautiful reality for Christians everywhere. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Brothers, God be with you.